Magnetic masks seem like the new trendy thing when it comes to skincare. And if you guys don't know already, I love masks. I've tried tons of different masks out there and I definitely believe that masks do help your skin. I probably do a mask one to two times a week. So I thought it would be fun to try out this mask myself. So we're gonna play with this one right here. This is the Dr. Brandt Magnetite Age Defier Mask. So it's a skin recharging magnet mask. I don't know, magnet masks, it just seems a little odd and different, but I figured it would be really fun to try this guy out. So this is what the box looks like, and then you just pop that sleeve off. So it has really cool packaging, and when you lift the top, it shows you step-by-step -step instructions. So this is step number one, and then you go ahead and flip this down. It will show you step number two, and then open it up. Step number three, and last but not least, it will show you the beautiful magnet that comes inside, which I think is pretty cool. When you open the box, you get the mask inside. I really like the packaging. I think it's pretty cool, very sleek, and kind of masculine. And there are three ounces in here, so it's 90 grams. It's a pretty big size, and it has some weight to it, so it's nice packaging. Also, you get the little spatula inside, and you'll use this to kind of scoop the product out and spread it on your face, but I'm actually going to use a brush just to keep things nice and neat, but you are definitely welcome to use the spatula when it comes to application. All right, so let's open this up. Oh, right away, you can totally smell it. You take this little part off. Oh, this mask is cool. It's super thick. Oh my gosh, that smell. It smells so good. It smells like there's lavender in here. I wonder if there's lavender in here. Um, but, oh my gosh, this stuff smells really, really good. I could, like, smell this all night. Okay, so anyway, let me set this down, and then we'll start putting this on my face. So this is what the inside of the jar looks like. It's a pretty thick mask. Um... And like I said, it smells so good. So what you want to do is wash your face first and make sure you have nothing on your face. It's nice and clean. And then we're just going to apply this mask. So I'm going to use this little crown brush that I have so I can just paint it on my face because I want to keep things clean and cute for this video. Normally, I would probably just use a spatula or you can use your fingers, whatever floats your boat. So I'm going to dip my brush in here. And let's just start painting this on my face. All right, so the mask is on my face and that was definitely fun to apply. One thing I noticed when I applied the mask, it felt kind of warm on my skin. Not in a bad way, it felt kind of good actually. And I don't know, it was, Fun to apply, it's definitely a thicker consistency. I think a little goes a long way. And you don't wanna put like a huge thick layer, just a nice thin layer, and this was as thin as I can get it with that brush. But it looks pretty cool. So now you can walk around the house with this mask on your face. And I'm going to leave it on, they say for about five to 10 minutes, I'm going to put seven minutes on my timer and then I'll come back in seven minutes and then we'll take this thing off. Okay, so my time is up, so now what I'm going to do is take this little magnet right here, and it says on the directions you want to wrap it in a piece of tissue, so I have a little square right here, and I am just going to wrap it kind of around the tissue in hopefully a neat, nice way. It doesn't have to be neat, but let's see, all right. So my tissue is wrapped around the magnet. So what they say is glide it as close to the surface as your skin as you can. You don't need to be touching your skin, but just move it really close. So I'm gonna actually zoom my camera in so you guys can see this mask come off and see if it really works. Okay, so we're pretty close. So let's try to take this off. So let's start on this side. I'm gonna go very close to my cheek. And let's see if it, oh. Hello. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. You can like feel it coming off your face. Oh my gosh. It 
That is really freaking cool. Oh my gosh. I'm like lightly touching my skin. That is so cool. Ew, this looks so gross. I'm going to change my tissue real quick. Oh my gosh, it's really stuck on there. Ew, oh, that is so cool. That was probably one of the coolest masks that I've ever tried. It felt so weird like coming off your skin when it like magnetizes to that magnet. Does that even make sense? That was so cool. So now the next step is you see all this leftover oil. I don't even know what it is. I guess it's oil. It feels kind of oily. So you're supposed to just rub this into your skin. So anything that's left over, just massage it in. Ooh, it feels like really greasy. I don't know if I like that. Feels kind of greasy. It definitely leaves like a greasy residue on your hands. But once you rub it in, it actually feels pretty good. I think once I let it sit and my skin kind of absorbs some of this moisture, I think it would feel pretty good. Okay, so who can use this mask? Anyone can use this mask. It's for all skin types, whether you're combination, oily, dry, normal, anyone can use this mask. I would personally use it for myself because I am kind of combination skin right now. So when I'm feeling really dry, this is probably the mask that I would go to because it leaves your skin like incredibly hydrated after it feels so good. And if you have concerns about fine lines and wrinkles, um, loss of firmness and elasticity, or dullness, uneven texture, I'm looking on Sephora right now, that is what you can use this mask for. It will definitely improve and help that over time. That's what it says. And I don't know, I just personally like this for the hydration and because it's fun to do. I'm easily entertained. You can find this mask at Sephora. It is on the pricier side when it comes to masks. It's $75, but you actually do get a lot of product in the jar. And if you think about it, you're not gonna be using this mask every single day. You can use it once a week, you can use it once every other week, once a month, but this mask will probably last you a really long time. A little goes a long way with this mask. So if you have any questions about this mask that I use in the video, I will put a link down below to where you can find this mask and there's gonna be way more information there. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching this first impressions video. It was so much fun to do this mask and I can't wait to share this mask with my girlfriends and my family because it was so much fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Say hello to my little friend.